Stone Link, it's your boy Ink. Welcome to the welcome to another show. We are doing well because we're having a wonderful day. Um, <laughs> this is a video that is really cool to make on this 27 September. Uh, it is a video that I, I, I uh, it's the video that I put on the back burner because I, okay. This is the way we're starting, I guess. <laughs> Today's a weird day. Um, this video we put on the back burner because, as you guys know, when I was 20, 22, um, I was extremely cocky. But the first time ever I started working out, I started loving my body. And I've always been a good storyteller. I started really lying and really manipulating people. Not in the hope of, not in the hope of hurting them. Never in the, herp, in the hope of hurting people. In the hope of putting a situation to my advantage. Which is, I believe, in my opinion, very normal. Is it wrong? Absolutely. Should you do this? Fuck no. Is it understandable? Yes. And it's, 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 it's manipulation. And I had an idea for manipulation. But I had an idea to, to teach you a little bit about charisma. And we did a playlist. We did a playlist which was charisma. And I wanted to show you a little bit of how to be a good self and how to be a good person. And some, in my opinion, being a good self and sometimes if I manipulate people, I'm not okay with it. But what if I was to tell you? What if I was to teach you to see it? Right? So the subject we're going to see today is the perceived manipulation. It is manipulation 101. <laughs> manipulation 101. My apologies for the verb. And it's, um, <laughs> I'm having such a weird day today. I'm not in. I'm not focused. I'm unfocused. It's weird. It is the perception of multiple choice. Now, what is the perception of multiple choice? Now, we're going to see the main example, which is a game show. So there's a certain game show that's going to tell you there's three doors behind me. There's three doors. Behind one of those doors, there's a grand prize. You can choose a door, right? And you can tell me which price it is. Now, the contestant is going to say, I want to go behind door one. The trick here is there's no precise door number, right? So the announcer knows the curtain behind which the car is. Let's, let's take an example for a car. He knows the example, uh, the, the curtain of the left holds the car, and technically the curtain to the left is number one. But since the since the player or the person partaking in the show do not know which one is curtain number one, then the announcer is able to choose whatever curtain he wants. Now, if he's in a good mood, he'll give you the second good price. If it's a bad mood, he'll give you the shittiest price, right? Perception of option. Um, you're gonna go to a restaurant, right? And the restaurant is a very mom and pop shop and all of their meal is good. Uh, all of their meal is good. It's a restaurant that you often go to, right? And for some reason, the chef didn't order some shrimps. And your favorite meal is shrimp. And you've been going there for years once again, but you always take the same thing. You always take that shrimp deal, a uh, mission. Deal, which is a meal and a dish. Deal. I'm focused. And, um... You never really pay attention to the rest of the menu because you're like, you know what? I know what I want. And they tell you, well, we don't have this. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. We don't have this. Like, fuck. I really wanted this. Well. <laughs> well. What are you going to do? They're going to give you other option, right? And they're going to give you option at a restaurant. They're always going to give you the option that they want. So for example, there's a really good, they made a lot, or it's very good, it's very cheap to make. There's very high intake. I used to do surprise at the restaurant out of trying to be charismatic, but not knowing what I wanted to take, and they would always give me the, the biggest meal. But such an option is being presented different option. Being presented, let's give you an example, three, exa three options. And out of those three options, only one of them is, really, is um, doable. Only one of them is a viable option. Sorry. And the person giving you the option are going to push you towards that option. Right? And then you're going to be like, oh, this was my choice. It wasn't your choice. And Montreal and Canada, right? In Quebec. Let's say Quebec. Quebec. In Quebec, we have two phone companies. We have Bell and Videotron. Now, these two are the biggest, right? And then you have a dozen, 20, 25, 30 cell phone company. And they're all offering you a different deal. But if you look at the owner of these company, what do you get? Bell or Vidotron, you get two. So there are branches of the main branch. 
Now, why do they do that? It's because they want to give you the, the they want to give you the illusion of the choice, and they want me to take. Well, I have so many options. What should I take? When you only have to, the person, as long as the person believes the choice is theirs and not yours, they'll be happy, right? And that's what government will do. Government will do this. Government will put a lot of the tax-paying money into environment because who's gonna say don't use my tax dollar for environment? Fuck the planet. I was gonna say that, right? Um, even in shows, you cannot you cannot be seen as a racist, you can be seen as a sexist because you don't want to be an asshole. So they're gonna push you towards the choices that makes everybody happy. And it makes you look like the best person, right? There's these constant, there's these constant video that we're seeing right now, and the constant video. <laughs> sorry, the constant video is: should I give you five dollars or should I double it and give it to the next one? Right? And everybody's like, oh, double it, double it, double it, double it. Right? And then, like, oh, these videos are awesome. And then, <laughs> and then, there's a video where it's $5. The guy has the choice to double it. It's like, no, I'm going to take the $5. Fuck everybody else. And like, what an asshole. No, it wasn't an asshole. It was, is it nicer to give money to somebody else? Absolutely. But you're giving out two choices. You were giving the option to take the money and you take the money. It doesn't make you an asshole. You just see the opportunity. Right? And it's weird because if somebody is good enough to talk to you, if somebody is a good enough seller, and again, they're, they're making the option seem like it was your choice when it wasn't, you're put in a position of was it really my choice? Why did I choose that? And yeah, that's pretty much it. When you have option, do look at the option. Do make your own opinion. Make your own choices. Then, I see the consequences. If it's a bad choice, it's a bad choice. If it's a good choice, it's a good choice. Stop letting people tell you what to do. Because people telling you what to do in most cases are going to be... <laughs> are gonna be expecting something in return or are gonna be doing something that helps them. I was watching a YouTube video and that somebody says, hey, I would love to hear your feedback. Leave a comment. Why do you do that? Because it helps in the algorithm. Do you honestly think that person looks at the comments? No. That manipulation? Kinda. Anywho, love you guys. Take it easy. Peace.